Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session we have today. is 28th of August 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so basically we have a gap higher in European markets after the bank holiday weekend there. Okay, uh, although the FTSE certainly is, uh, has uh, shaved off that gap and actually traded lower. Now we have the uh, US-Mexico trade deal that certainly is helping risk sentiment. Again, uh, only being shared in the US session really. Uh, Asian markets not really overly optimistic there in terms of the Shanghai closing negative and the Nikkei only closing up uh, 0.06%. That's not exactly risk on. Now uh, US equity is certainly pushing higher as you can see here on the daily chart, certainly breaking higher. Again, I can't see the logic behind that. Uh, very fundamental, certainly not backing that up from my perspective anyway. As you can see here, the Dow's trying to go for gap fill above. Okay, uh, still lackluster from my perspective in terms of the S&P as well. Let's give you an insight. Again, US equities are very important here in terms of understanding the European uh, perspective as well. Now, as you can see here, daily chart, we've broken higher. Weekly chart, you can see we've broken past that key resistance, which was at 28.72, and now we're hitting almost 2,900. Can this continue? That's a question. Uh, as again, with regards to Nasdaq as well, on the daily chart, you can see we've clearly broken out here again to new highs. Now, US equities, totally a different beast, okay? A very strange beast at that as well, especially with the, with the uh, basically nutter uh, at the helm as well, Mr. Trump. Uh, he's had legal problems with regards to Manafort and Cohen obviously uh, pleading guilty. Again, that was uh, expected to renew a uh, potential... Uh, argument for impeachment and again that certainly hasn't had the effect effect, effect at all uh, also with regards to apple facebook uh, netflix etc uh, after their earnings as well we had a crash post facebook as well that certainly hasn't had the effect on the nasdaq either in terms of obviously creating a potential pivot market top uh, again uh, markets shaking off uh, hawkish concerns here last week as well uh, concerns regarding China, concerns regarding Italy this morning as well, the emerging market concerns via Turkey. Again, markets totally ignoring everything at present. So fundamentally, the new high isn't justified, but yet technicals continue to push higher. OK, so we just have to respect that for now. In terms of the German DAX, let's give you an insight here. Uh, fundamentals for European markets this morning, really nothing major. Uh, money supply data uh, in terms of uh, French consumer confidence, more or less uh, in line. Uh, your Italian concerns obviously are rain with business confidence, consumer confidence both lower. So keep bear that in mind. In terms of the German DAX, we've had quite a significant rally. Okay, given the fact that Mr. Trump now is buying European bonds, or should we say Italian bonds, that doesn't bode well. It certainly seems like he wants to interfere in European politics, and that won't go down well for Germany at all. So just just bear that in mind as well. That certainly is another factor that not many have considered, and certainly need to take into account as well. Also, especially given the fact that euro now is approaching 1.17, uh, again, that certainly is, is risk negative for European exports, so bear that in mind too. As the euro appreciates, it hurts European exports, so it's a zero-sum game from that perspective. Okay, so uh, in terms of uh, the markets at present, we've held resistance at 12.8585, so watch out for resistance there. 10-minute chart, again, we've closed gap fill. So watch out for support there, gap fill. Okay, we've got support below here at 12.512. And then you've got ultimate support down below at 12.434 with gap fill at 12.390. So watch out there. In terms of the French CAC, let's have a look in terms of the French CAC. We've been attempting to close the gap at 5.500. We failed to do so thus far. Okay, we've got the unfilled gap below, so watch out below. 10-minute chart, certainly lackluster. Okay, if we do roll flush below, then you are looking, testing this key support of 5450 that's really the area to watch out for a little mini hns certainly is forming there as well we've got potential gap fill here okay so below watch out for gap fill below and then obviously you got horizontal support here okay so watch out for support below so here we go watch out for that zone there okie dokie right so watch out below in terms of um, the FTSE 100 now again like i said it's just flushed on the back of a no deal brexit so miss theresa may has no idea what she's doing totally a clueless woman i've said that from day one um absolute imbecile from my perspective in terms of governing the country and leading the country uh really she she has no idea where she's going and she really doesn't understand where it's going either she doesn't really understand the concept of it either so 
Again, it's uh, certainly doesn't bode well. Overall, you've got this key diagonal trend line in the 60 minute chart that we need to watch out for. 200 MA certainly acting as a resistance, and the market's flush from there. 10 minute chart, as you can see here, we're retesting the breakout level. Uh, from my perspective, uh, what we're going to do now is uh, basically um, this is another short sell for me, by the way. Okay, so I'm looking for a potential retrace now and looking for a bear flag scenario. So, like, allow it to retrace 7620. More than happy to uh, play the short side back down to 7580, back to gap fill, given the uh, ongoing concerns or the uh, clueless nature of the fact that she has no idea and she prefers an audio Brexit scenario. So, either way, either she's playing chicken or she's an absolute imbecile. I'll probably go for imbecile, uh, given her track record. Either way, yeah, that's the status quo. So, certainly bearish for the FTSE 7635 and looking at gap fill at 7580. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers and be sure to download the latest trading app. Goodbye now.